So last week I was debugging a production issue at 2am and trying to figure out who changed what, when and why and I had like 15 tabs open like GitHub, Jira, Stack Overflow and I realized I was spending more time navigating between tools than actually solving the problem. And that's when I decided to properly explore this Git Lens extension that I had been half using for years. And it turns out I was like that person who only uses like 10% of Excel. But I discovered that completely changed how I use Git and I had to share this because why did nobody tell me about all these features look i know what you're thinking another git tool video but hear me out i have been using git for 10 years and i thought i had my workflow down like terminal for commits github for pr vs code for coding like just like standard stuff but then i was pairing with a senior dev from another team and i watched them do something that blew my mind they were reviewing a pr working on a feature and handling a hot fix all at the same time without losing any work or content no stashing no branch juggling just smooth and when i asked them about it they showed me they were using git lens pro features i didn't even know that they existed and that sent me down a rabbit hole that honestly made me a bit angry angry because i had been doing things hard way for so long okay the first mind blown moment is work trees but i always thought this was some complex git feature that i would never need but wrong here's my actual scenario from yesterday i'm working on a new feature and my teammate needs help with their pr Previously, stash everything, check out their branch, lose my terminal history, rebuild node modules, and you know the dance. Now watch this. I just created a parallel workspace. I can have both versions running simultaneously, different ports, different states, same repo. I can literally test their changes while my feature branch stays exactly as I left it. Second revelation, this commit graph isn't just visualization. See this mess of branches? I can actually fix it right here. I needed to clean up my commits before the PR instead of remembering the rebase command I just drag and drop. Squash these three work in progress commits, reorder so the refactor comes first, done. What used to take me 10 minutes of googling git commands now takes only 30 seconds, literally. But here's what really got me. The git kraken AI, now I was spectacle another AI tool, right? But watch this. I just refactored our authentication middleware. Usually I would spend like 5 minutes writing a commit message that my future self will understand but it actually understands what I did, not just change the files, but refactored authentication middleware to use JWT refresh tokens with 24 hours expiry. That's exactly what I did. It reads my code changes and understands intent. Let me show you my actual morning workflow now. This isn't rehearsed. This is literally what I do every single day. I start here, home view shows me everything, my PRs, reviews waiting for me, recent work, no more what was I working on yesterday moments. Here's a real bug from our backlog. One click and it creates a branch named from that issue. But here's the cool part. The issue description, acceptance criteria, it's all here. I don't need to keep switching back to Jira to remember what I was supposed to be doing. Everything is here. Fixing the bug, running the test, and now instead of crafting a commit message, the Git Kraken AI writes it for me, including the issue reference, but what really saves the time is the PR description. It pulls the context from my commits, the issue, and generates a complete PR description, not a template, actual context about what I changed and why. Then there is Launchpad. This changed how I handle PR reviews. Look, here are all the PRs need my attention, sorted by priority. If something is unclear, AI explains what exactly is this. It's like having the author next to me explaining their thought process. Some things I didn't expect to actually use, but now I just cannot live without. And that's visual file history. Sounds boring, but when our API started failing, I could see exactly when the problematic changes were introduced. This heat map shows me what developers changed the files and at what time. This way you can find the bugs in minutes instead of hours. Next is cloud patches. Instead of writing, you might want to consider changing the line number 42. I make the change and then send it as a patch. They can apply it with one click. It's like pair programming asynchronously. The integrations just work. My commits link to Jira tickets, PR shows build status, and I can jump to any connected service when needed. But crucially, I don't have to leave VS code if I don't want to. Now let's be real. Is everything perfect? No, large repos can make the commit graphs chug a bit. The AI sometimes need guidance on commit message style. And there's definitely a learning curve. Our junior developers needed a walkthrough to understand work trees. So definitely there is a learning curve. Also, yes, the full feature set costs money. The free version gives you basic features and file history. The pro version is what unlocks the work trees, AI features, and visual tools that I showed you. For context, it costs less than a Netflix subscription. And of course, my company pays for it because it saves us a lot of hours weekly. But even if you just use the free community version of 
have Git lens properly, which I wasn't, you will level up your Git game for sure. Here's my honest take on who needs what. If you're constantly juggling multiple branches, reviewing code or working in a team, the pro features will change your life. The time saved on context switching alone is worth it. If you're learning, working on simple projects or happy with your current workflow, start with the free. Even just using inline blame and file history properly is powerful. The AI features, they are genuinely useful, not gimmicky. But you can also bring your own AI if you prefer. You can bring Claude 4.5 Sonnet or even GPT-5. Our team's approach, developers who live in VS Code are AI IDs like Cursor, Windsurf and Tray. They use Git Lens. And those who prefer standalone tools, they use Git Crack and Desktop and everyone benefits from the shared features, no religious wars about tools. So before you go, here are the things that you can do right now to improve your workflow. Number one, if you're using Git Lens community, enable the commit graphs, it's there just hidden by default. Number two, set up the home view as your command center, even in the free version. Number three, learn one keyboard shortcut, which is command plus shift plus G, then H opens home view instantly. If you try pro, start with work trees for PR reviews, that's game changer. Number five, connect your providers and issue trackers. This takes only two minutes, but it saves hours. Look, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm just a developer who discovered they were just working way harder than necessary. If you're happy with your workflow, cool. But if you ever felt like you are spending too much time finding Git instead of writing code, then maybe just explore what you already have installed. Git Lens has a free trial. If you want to test the pro features, there is a referral link in the description if you find it useful full transparency i get a kickback if you use it but honestly i'm sharing it because it genuinely improved my daily work life so what's your biggest git pain point drop it in the comments i'm curious if others have the same struggles that i did and if you have any git lens tricks that i missed please share i'm still discovering features weekly all right back to coding and i see you next video bye, -bye.